Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is Veteran0121. And we've pretty much gotten all the treasure here in the uh, Eblon Castle, so now we're gonna head to the Eblon Cave. And completely loot that cave now, now that I have uh, Edge, so let's do it. Yeah, no. Uh, on this, flirt, on this first floor here, you can actually run into a lot of uh, steel golems. So, uh, and they're actually not bad experience either. But uh, the big thing with them is uh, you can win giants glove gloves from them, and they also uh, you can also steal Gaia hammers from, them, which is uh, yeah, they're pretty nice uh, for anything. I mean, for throwing and and for selling. So, this is a good place to uh, basically farm for gill, in my opinion. And then, for this particular fight, I just use Ifrit to uh, cast the summon there, and then once the Scolgers are gone, then maybe use a few rounds to steal with Edge. Sometimes it takes a long time, but for the most part, it's, it's like 40%, so it's not that bad, but as I encounter these guys, I will be stealing from them. I know it'll probably like kind of waste time in the video, and I maybe should edit, edit the stuff out, but eh, I don't know. Depends on how long the battle takes. Or it might depend on how long it takes for Cecil to actually kill the thing. <laughs> Well, if I don't get one, and Cecil ends up killing it, oh well. Either way, I like I like the strategy for these encounters around here because you're always uh, replenishing the MP by using prey, so that's pretty nice. All right, well, didn't get one that time, but no big deal. Alright, we get a vampire fang. I don't remember if I got one of those already. Yeah, it just casts uh, Drain on a target, if I didn't mention it before. Alright, awesome. I can just start the battle off with, uh, actually, <laughs> maybe I should have healed Cecil there. Do that real quick, I guess. And hopefully I can get lucky enough to get a a Giant's Club or two. I'm not really concerned about a third one, even though Edge can equip him as well. Because, uh, well, I don't know, his Rune Armlet is actually more important because he has really, really bad magic defense, so... Come on, can I get one? No, I can't. Bye. <laughs> but if I don't get a Giant's Glove, it's not that big of a deal. They're awfully nice, though.
Yep. Jeez, they're not even dropping anything. That's three in a row. Well, guess I'm just not lucky right now. Yeah, maybe I should heal Cecil here. Might be a good idea. And there's that little sliver in the corner that I need to get. Of the map there. Yeah, basically with this strategy though, I'm just using Prey a lot. Your your characters will probably most likely never run out of MP, so it's the way to go in my opinion. Because the summon the summons are actually pretty expensive. All right, we got one. Alright, yeah, we got one. Yeah, the Giants Clubs, those will, those will be very nice. So yeah, that's going to replace his, uh, his power gauntlet there. Yeah, it raises his defense, uh, raises his magic. It, it, it kind of brings, yeah, the, the uh, evasion and magic defense kind of take a hit, but it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, the plus 10 in strength, I mean, the power armlet's plus 5 is... It's pretty good. I like it. So, definitely gonna give that to Cecil there. If I get another one, it'll it'll probably go to Kane. All right, three Bacchus wines. Definitely need those. Yes, let them tremble in fear. Alright, we got an inn here and an item shop. Yeah, I'm actually going to buy some gold needles because I'm low. About ten of them probably do fine. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need anything else. And here... Apparently they were driven from the castle. That explains why there was no one there when I completely ransacked it. Alright, well, I would get this. And actually, if using an item in battle is not is not that bad at all, it basically saves MP. It's a berserk spell. You use that as an item, cast it on a character, and they're berserked. Uh, well... There might be some boss strategies too that use a lot of, if they use a lot of magic, if you can berserk them, that might be, actually, you know what, I'm going to pick one up just in case I find something out later. And, uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff in here is pretty much useless. I've already got two of those, so I don't need those at all. Shurikens, eh, they're alright, but they're not great or anything. Okay, and we get... Ice armor and ice shield like I uh, got in the Tower of Babel there and a black robe. I don't like it. The luminous robe is a lot better than the black robe, so I'm going to definitely pass on that. And I'll be able to buy another luminous robe later on, so I'm not going to waste a gill on a black robe. I mean, I could give the luminous robe to Rosa, and then buy the black robe for Rydia, but nah. To me, that's just a waste of gill if I can get a luminous robe later on, so I'm not going to worry about that. And we get a lousy potion in this pot. Great. 
I don't know, man. I thought there were monsters around for a long time now. Okay, we meet this character, Seneschal. Apparently, he's like the elder to the king uh, to the kingdom of Eblon. So uh, we'll be seeing him later on. Apparently he doesn't want Edge to go off and die. Why not, man? If Edge dies, you can you can become the king. Apparently this uh this woman's in bad shape. Yeah, they got they got some friends now they can uh Help him do what he wants to do. Get revenge. Alright, and yeah, we've encountered these guys before. Ironbacks, they're not too special. You can win uh, mithril shields from them or something like that. They don't really drop anything useful of note, so... That's one thing I do know that they actually drop. Yeah, got a mithril shield. Don't need it, we'll be selling it eventually. Alright, we get an ether there. And yeah, there's a secret passage coming up soon. All right, with this fight, these guys, yeah, it's pretty much just Efrit. These guys are weak to fire. They're called Blood Bat and Cave Bat. And their Blood Feast attack is pretty annoying because right now it's only targeting Cecil, so. That's the one thing that's bad about the uh, draw attacks augment, because if they can use magical attacks that are single targeting, Cecil won't counter attack, so they'll just attack the same character over and over and over again, so you gotta watch out for that. As usual, since I'm pretty low level, I'm getting levels like nuts. Or, eh, that didn't sound right, like crazy, I should say. <laughs> yep, secret passage. And, alright, we get a high potion there. Yeah, I'm not sure what time I started, so I'm gonna cut the video off right here. Uh, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 4 we will explore more of the Eblon Cave and get to the top half of uh, the Tower of Babel. This is Veteran0121. See you next time.